so now I will explain about the process description of the advanced vector. So the new research vector known as OPAL, Open Pool Australian Lab Water Vector was committed as a modern, powerful and effective neutron source. One of the top three research vector in the world, it achieved over 300 op operational days per year in a top ratio of the world's 240 research vector. Opal is a 20 megawatt open pool design using low enriched fuel, less than 200 enriched. The core is submerged near the bottom of, of a 12.8 meter deep pool and demineralized water which provide cooling, moderation and degree of containment. Like others, the moderator in Opal is like water. The core is the compact design to maximize the neutron flux. A higher neutron flux is required for efficiency radial isotope production, other irradiation service and neutron beam research. Surrounding the core is a reflector, reflector vessel containing heavy water which serve as a reflector to sustain the nuclear reaction. The neutron beam and irradiation facilities are located in the reflector vessel which provide a large zone of high thermal neutron flux where irradiation facilities can be located and neutron beam generated. Opal's neutron beam are more intense than others and substantially free from gamma radiation. Unlike others, Opal has, Opal has a cool neutron source that will allow it to produce cool neutron beams to enable research on biological material. A wide range of research opportunities are provided by the irradiation and neutron beam facility, as well as material testing and isotope production. Next, we will talk about the description of advanced vector. So, the key event in a new vector core is fission, in which a neutron hit the nucleus of the uranium atom and split it. A great deal of energy is released. The two or three neutrons produced when a uranium-235 atom split and released at high speed. In order to split further atom, the neutron must be slowed down and moderated. In Opal, the role is performed by the water surrounding the uranium fuel element. Some of the neutrons are used for, to sustain the change reactor in the core. Others are used to do the work of the reactor. They are what scientists and technologists use for materials, bomb brain, for the development of new product. The core is 35 cm square and 60 cm high. Compressor 16 square full assemblies containing low enriched uranium ceridite fuel plates with aluminium cladding. Water circulating through a cooling channel between the fuel plates remove heat produced by the fission reaction. These are five control roads with absorber plates. Four of the five control roads separate the core into four equal quadrants. The fifth control road is cruciform shape and is used for the fine control of reactor power due to its position in the center of the core. The reactor pool is linked to a service pool via a transfer channel with a removable gate for isolating the pool from one another. The service pool is used for the loading and storage of silicon, radioisotope and the storage of spent fuel with a capacity for storing up to 10 years of spent fuel. The reactor is housed in a structural reinformed building design with withstand external event, including a 1 in 10,000 year seismic event and also aircraft impact. In addition to providing structural integrity, the massive reinformed concrete form the structural basis for the reactor containment. The design of Opal includes many safety characteristics. It inherits safety in based on the open pool concept and the negative reactivity feedback coefficient of the core. It incorporates passive safety characteristics which rely on natural law for their effectiveness. The range of protection system incorporates a defense in depth approach to potential scenarios, including loss of power and loss of cooling incidents. It has several independent automatic shutdown system. The primary one are control roads which can drop in one second and draining the heavy water. Opal, the open pool of Australian light water reactor, a multipurpose reactor that produces more than 80% of Australian nuclear medicine. It radiates more than 10% of the world's silicon and produces neutrons from the material research. 
The reactor pool is 13 meters deep and filled with super clean demineralized water. At the bottom of the pool is the reflective vessel and in that vessel is the reactor's heart, a compact core of 16 thimble assembled. Inside it is less than 6 kilograms of uranium 235 and naturally occurring isotopes of uranium that can sustain a fission reaction. Some energy are generally new two neutrons released when the uranium atom is split by a single neutron. Two neutrons becomes four, four becomes eight, eight becomes sixteen, and so on. So a maximum of four hundred million million neutrons per square centimeters per second. The reflective vessel acts as a mirror and reflects neutron back into the core to maintain fusion. Five neutron absorbing plates called control rods help to manage the fusion. If the temperature exceeds 60 degrees Celsius, the control rods are automatically inserted in less than a half second. Opal is a neutron factory for research. Two neutron sources supply coal and thermal neutrons into the neutron guide hole where an amazing array of scientific research is conducted. Opal is also essential to create something that we use every day. When silicon ingots were placed inside opal, their properties change allowing them to be used as a silicon chip in laptops or mobile phones. Component of Opal Matil Purpose Reactor Now, I would like to explain about the component which is first, uh, thermal bin. Thermal bin, is, thermal bin is thermal neutron source, which is the component comprise a heavy water zone located close to the region of peak thermal flux in the reactor reflector vessel. The dominant peak thermal neutron flux at the performance at the reactor phase of the TNB4. The neutron spectrum has a peak neutron yield at approximately. Second, cool neutron source is a vertical liquid deuterium thermal siphon type school neutron source and is located close to the peak in the thermal neutron flux in the reflector vessel. The nominal peak thermal neutron flux at the performance at the rate of phase of the CNB3 assembly. The neutron spectrum has a peak neutron yield at approximately. Third, hot neutron source. Provision for a future hot neutron source has been accommodated into the heavy water reflector vessel which will utilize a graphite moderate heated by gamma radiation and to a small extent by neutron radiation from the reactor to an approximate equilibrium temperature of 2400 degrees. Next, neutron bin transpo uh, transport system. Supermineral neutron guides under vacuum are utilized to transport neutrons from the high density neutron area located in the reflector vessel to the richest instrument located in the reactor bin hall and the neutron guide hall. Neutron bin instrument. The upper reactor has initial space for up to 8 instruments with provision for construction of the second neutron guide hall hall and the other side of the reactor which will be supplied neutron by TNB4 and CNB3 neutron bin assemblies. This is another component that also using in opal multipurpose reaction. Advantages and disadvantages of nuclear energy reactor the first advantage is low pollution. The environmental effects of nuclear power are relatively light. However, nuclear waste is potentially harmful for both humans and environment. Second, relatively low cost. Nuclear energy is cost competitive. 
Generating electricity in nuclear energy is cheaper than electricity generating from oil, gas, and coal and renewable energy sources. Third, high energy density. It is estimated the amount of energy released in nuclear fission is 10 million times greater than the amount released in burning a fossil fuel atom. Example, oil and gas. And finally, base load energy. Nuclear power plant provides stable base load of energy. It can work synergistically with renewable energy sources such as wind and solar. Next, disadvantages of nuclear energy reactor. The first one is accidents happen. Radioactive waste can possess a threat to environment and dangerous for humans. And the second one is radioactive waste. Nuclear power plant emits negligible amounts, if any, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere.